Welcome to Let's Talk Fashion powered by Bangalore Fashion Week. I'm here with designer Jatin Kochar who's just showcased his collection Shine On at the 22nd edition of Bangalore Fashion Week. How are you feeling this evening? Fantastic. Yeah, feels good off the runway. Well, this is all uh, that I've known all my life. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your journey as a designer, how you started off and how you've achieved what you have so far today. Well, I started when I was uh, 18. Mhm. Mm and i have no formal training i have never been to a design school okay and uh, it's been a good 30 years so what's kept the inspiration going have you ever sort of hit a roadblock saying okay what do i come up with next or you know i have to be honest uh, that i have been extremely blessed mm -hmm. i mean of course there are roadblocks but uh, nothing that would have made me change my mind okay i am glad mm -hmm. that the roadblocks happened okay because when roadblocks happen that means it's time to pull up your socks or True. up your game mm -hmm. as my son says you know <laughs> and i think you've been fairly successful three decades in the industry and you're doing fabulous so far as well well i'm glad like i said it's always his grace yeah so what about your evolution as a designer how like looking back on let's say the collections that you remember your initial transition and everything how would you say that you've evolved in terms of your creative space i would say uh as my personal life has evolved mm -hmm. so has my style uh and my sense of design okay like when i started i was 18 mm -hmm. and uh, mtv was uh was just new in india so i okay. remember i was uh So when you're 18, you know your mind functions in the, in that same okay area. <laughs> so everything was tight and really short mm -hmm. and because uh, I mean you can well imagine when you were 16, you know all 16-year-old wants to they they want Just to wear like like really, mini skirts like and really short, tiny, short, tiny. tight dresses. Yeah, yeah. So as and by things changed in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I got married. So things changed. Okay. So I'm like oh so there is also a need for. Indian clothes. Okay. In in our wardrobe. Mhm. Mm so I graduated to that. Then kids happened. So I started doing kids wear. I did I I do maternity wear, I do kids wear, I do men's wear, wow. women's wear, swim wear. I do an organic lounge wear line. Okay. And I also do uh resort wear. That's that's just so many things I've already lost count. But I think I think that's great. So can you elaborate a little bit about the organic loungewear because the whole sustainable fashion movement is sort of kicking off right now. So what inspired you to come up with that? My wife teaches yoga. Okay. So holistic living is part of our being. All what right. we eat, what we do. Mm -hmm. So obviously clothing becomes a very essential part of it. Mm -hmm. So a couple of years ago I was exposed to uh this fabric which is actually a 5000 year old technique mm. and uh, it's only made in kerala okay it's called ayur vastra okay so basically ayur ayurveda mm -hmm. so clothing, clothing based on based on that ayurveda okay and it's very interesting mm -hmm. uh of course it's uh, hand spun mm -hmm. and hand woven okay so once you we hand uh, you know hand spun the uh, the thread mm -hmm. then it's dipped in essential oils oh wow So depending on the ailment mm -hmm. we use the the oil the oil then it's dried okay and then fabric is made out of it it's woven wow so when you wear it the essential oils rub into your skin mm -hmm. and then it everything absorbs and then the healing starts to yes. there wow i think that's fantastic that is absolutely amazing and uh, the interesting thing is that uh, that it can't be copied That's true, Be but it's been around for five thousand years, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably aren't even aware that something Most like this exists. Are. And also, it can be mass produced. Okay. Because you know, it's it's all done by hand. True. And the uh, another very essential uh, quality that it has mm -hmm. is that it keeps you warm in winters. Okay. And vice versa in summers. Cool in summers. That's that's very cool. Versatile fabric that way. Yeah. That's very nice. And now that we're entering summer. Um your swimwear collections how have those been for you They've been great 
like experimenting with fabrics and things like that have has that happened a lot with um, the swimwear as well no what i've actually been doing is i wanted to give swimwear mm -hmm. an ethnic look oh now that's a tough one yes so what i did was uh, you know the tribal embroideries that you get mm -hmm. we have so many yes uh, from different regions mm -hmm. so i did this collection where we used uh, hand embroidered but we photographed them okay these are this is very like uh, either uh, very expensive embroidery mm -hmm. and it can't be done on lycra okay so what i did uh -huh. i took a picture of that and i did digital print on lycra oh. so it's basically uh, let's say mirror work mm -hmm. so it's a mirror work uh, swimsuit wow now you actually cannot have a mirror work swimsuit yeah. because a it's not practical b it'll just like poke and prod in uncomfortable no, no, places it, because swimwear has to stretch yes and if i'll put anything on it mm -hmm. it it'll restrict it true so this way from far it looks like kach embroidery you know mm -hmm. but that's not in reality yeah also it gives me an opportunity to share this globally mm -hmm. cuz it's a unique product for them yeah i'm guessing that was very very well received it's very innovative actually yeah yeah it was great very nice any plans for another summer collection along similar lines any new techniques and things well, that you've been experimenting there with there is so much mm -hmm. it's like every single day is a new day yes so the first thing that i do is i open my eyes and i guys say thank you god i'm alive and that's exactly what i say when i'm ready to sleep thank you god what a stunning day wow i think that's a great outlook even to life in general like most people are so caught up in all oh, this stress that traffic and you know just cause of all the living has become so i'll be honest tense. Uh, i've had my share of that mm -hmm. and i realize it it's not doing any good i mean it's not that life is hunky dory there are going to be challenges yes but so what Yeah, we should always be thankful for everything that we absolutely. have. Gratitude above everything. I'm even thankful for the hardships. Like you said, pull up your socks. That's yeah, the yeah, way to go. absolutely. Very nice. And how do you see yourself evolving over the next decade? Let's say, what trends do you see coming in that you would either adapt to or sort of say, no, I'm going to do this my way. You know, in 48 years, I've learned something very important, mm -hmm. and it's taken me this long to learn it. Okay. So I want to share this with Pray all. <laughs> with everyone watching. Mm -hmm. please live in the moment okay i have stopped worrying about the future right. because i have no control over it that's true that's very and true and past does not exist mm -hmm. so this is all that i have mm -hmm. yesterday after we packed up you know we were all sitting and chatting okay and uh, so i was given something mm -hmm. so i thought i went to my room and i was exhausted and i'm wondering and i'm like you know i should save this okay and i'm all set to go to sleep and then a little thing in my brain comes up and says have you seen tomorrow i'm like yeah honestly the way you said that was on a lighter note but put a different way it sounds slightly morbid no no it wasn't morbid yeah. <laughs> but it makes sense it's it like, does it it's does like, what are you saving it for yeah this is now mm -hmm. and this is in your hand now yeah so i'm like yeah kal kis se dekha this is it Let me make the best of it. You just you open your present. Yes, and I loved it. That's amazing. So any advice for um people budding designers rather who look up to you and you know look up to your legacy as something that they take inspiration from? Very important to be a good human being. Mhm. Mm Polite kindness. Yeah. Cuz uh, I come across a lot of young people and they have this belief. Mhm. Mm that it's very cool to be rude mm. that is absolutely uncool <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you also the fact that if you are a you know if you have good energy mm -hmm. you will attract that's true whatever you are is what you're going to attract mm -hmm. so a lot of people are cribbing about mm. their lives yeah and in my heart i'm i'm like saying dude it's all your own doing <laughs> Okay. Because we're all magnets. Yes. You know, we're all we're all basically energy. Yes. So if you are I relate to that so much. Yeah, if you are whatever energy you emit. Yes. is what you're going to attract. Simple. Mm -hmm. So keep it simple and also don't be in such a hurry. And by the way, becoming a designer is not about fashion shows and glamour. You really need to know your act. Cutting, stitching, mm -hmm. drawing, very important. The technique Yeah, because all you get to see is the end product, you know, yeah. which is spent 15-20 minutes on the ramp. Mm -hmm.
but the time that's gone behind it, yeah. the effort, the everything behind it. The blood, sweat and tears, everything that goes But having it. said that, nothing is impossible. Okay. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I think that's great. And on that note, thank you so much for joining me this evening. This is Deeksha signing off. I'll see you the next time and let's talk fashion.